And now there's another change that our petition play around here. A scholarship for soldiers' children, all the way to tertiary education, tamaba, because I think it was in the light of the, the recent death in Sulu, recent deaths in Sulu, and there's another petition going out addressing it to, I believe, the senators or someone or etc. So use that as well. So I don't. What does that mean? It means, <laughs> alam mo, ako yung number one advocate ng taas niyo naman sa wala mga soldiers. Okay, ba ako yun? So, kayan. Kasi, tapos, 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 <laughs> I said, welcome to Krame. Um, <laughs> sorry. Eh, okay, Shh, wait. May point ako. Did you distract me? Okay. Ako lang, gusto ko lang yung pinag-uusapan. Nung, nung recently, the Ten Outstanding Soldiers Award something something. I was a judge of that. And I kept telling Sunny and Gather, I said, you know, the soldiers, they have to be paid more because blah, 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 blah. You know, it makes perfect sense, blah, 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 blah. Or equip them. My goodness, how do you expect us to defend them? So, so ready with, you know, uh, outdated, obviously, <coughs> antique equipment. That was, that was the great thing. We're not going to be able to take care of the military. We have to take care of the military so they can take care of us. Does that, that make sense? And then he said, I'm going to DBM 101. He said, I'm going to go to Congress. I'm going to approve the DBM. I'm going to defend. I'm going to sign. I'm going to go. It's I mean, can someone make the call because it makes perfect sense to raise everybody's salaries, blah, 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 or at least improve housing for their families, etc. Now, but if you have the internet and you have change.org petitions and you have 10,000 million million people signing your petition, somehow it's heard. Somehow, you know how? You know how? Traditional media picks it up. Yung Manny Sundalo, pinikap ng interaction ng ABS-CBN, in-interview kami sa GMA, niradyo kami ni Julius Babaw, kami ni Manny, uh, General Bautista Sabay, na <laughs> hindi ko alam, nandun siya sa kabilang line na pa, ay, sir, sorry, sorry, nandun sa kabila. When you tweet something, when you post something on social media, traditional media picks it up. So social media, hindi naman tayo nagre-replace ng traditional media, pinipick up tayo from them. And they have the map. They have the equipment to spread it, right? With their newscasts, hourly newscasts, TV patrol, 24 horas, interaction. All of these networks can do that for you. If you have a petition that's relevant enough, makes perfect sense, talking to the right person, asking for something that's very just and very right, traditional media will pick it up. And if all of you say the same thing at the same time, how can the civilians not listen? How can they not listen? How can we not listen? You have to say the same thing at the same time. Help us. Help us protect you. That's really what we want to say, diba? Yun yung uplifting ko. Because now, after, I used to hate the military. I really did. Because yung brother ko na haze sa PMA, 1984-83, nakik na discharge siya because of health. And he, he was very bad. He was on a coma and had to take therapy for six, five years to get back to normal. So, I don't like you guys. <laughs> I really don't like you in general. But, I meet a few individuals. You know, Colonel Zagala, Major Guzman, Pama, uh, Mani Bautista, for one. And then I say, wait, 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 they're good people. And it makes perfect sense to work with them, especially during storms, by the way. <laughs> with NDRRMC, you have to demand that the NDRRMC work with you. Because I think you are the best. This, uh, you are the best group that can do it. You have order. You have discipline. You are prompt, right? Kung kami yung civilians nakaka nakaka snack together, <laughs> pag may bagyo kayo pa kaya. So yes, I agree. We should be there. And if there's anything we can do to help you get the message across, to have you upgraded salaries, sweldo, housing, tuition ng mga anak nyo, everything, <laughs> and equipment na hinahandol nyo, please. Magtulungan tayo to do that. Does that make sense? And on the internet, kahit ano pwede ginagay sa internet, lalo pag anonymous yung name mo, pero tayo, na nagsusurf, 
We have to know who the source is. Di ba gano'n naman sa military? Um, ano tawag sa uh, information? Intelligence? May intelligence kami na may kidnapper sa blah blah blah. Number one, sino source? Di ba? Kasi yung ka credible source, you will move. But then if the source is not credible, then you can dismiss it, right? Kung may magsabi, oh my god, ayaw ko si Pinoy, ayaw ko si JP, ayaw ko si Bogrami, anonymous account, yeah, not counted. But if it's the account of Howie, of Winnie Monson, or whoever, people you know with credibility, then therefore, kayo rin, in your Twitter accounts, you have to be a credible source. Does that make sense? And you can be credible with proof. Sabi nga na, the lady who spoke before me, you can post photos, you can post um, information, graphic charts, etc. to support what you're saying. Um, Meron TV ngayon, can I say something off the record? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I just give up. Or 